<laughs> this looks very, very clean, very beautiful, very fresh. She has a lot of natural redness, so I'm going to show you a product that really, really helps anybody with redness. It's called a Photo Finish Primer and Adjust. And it's green. What it does is, is it basically neutralizes redness. So we're going to use one pump, and it's going to be a fingertip application, start in the center of the face. I don't want to mask her skin. I don't want to put heavy foundation on, so I'm putting on the primer so she can wear less foundation. And that's really the purpose of Photo Finish Primers. But if you see, we're not cutting red completely. We're just neutralizing it. I do want to give her a little bit of coverage, but the reason I'm using high def is, is because it gives coverage, but you still have your skin looking like real skin. I'm going in with Camera Ready Full Coverage Concealer, and I'm just giving her a little bit of extra coverage right through her T-zone. You saw that I applied it right underneath her eye, blend it up into the inner corner, blending out underneath the eye, and then again, as I always say, insider tip is moving concealer back in, so we're not putting more product into lines, pores, areas you don't want to emphasize. So now I'm going to take our powder, we're taking Halo, I'm taking our number one brush and I'm pressing in for coverage. Now the thing is, is if you're looking to cover skin or set skin, you want to press and roll. Pressing and rolling through the T-zone to get that nice coverage going to the skin. Just making sure that everything, all that concealer that I just placed stays nice and solid for the rest of the day so it doesn't move. So press, because if you sit there and buff and buff and buff, you're moving foundation around. And the great thing about our powder is, especially Halo is, if you sit here and you press and something doesn't end up getting covered, you can go back in with our Camera Ready Full Coverage Concealer because it does have that soft focus powder so you can wear it over powder. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take Oyster and Champagne and we're gonna mix the two together. I'm gonna have Lindsay close her eyes and I'm gonna give her that beautiful golden soft wash on her eye. So we're mixing the two together. Bump, bump, bump. Mixing the two together. Tapping off the excess, having her close, closing it over her lid, making sure we get a little more oyster on there. So a nice bright, light, open lid. Washing it over the lid. Not too much in the crease. Getting it right there to open up the eye a bit. So you see that? I want to give her a little bit of a crease color because we have a little bit of a peachy crease going on. So I'm going in with, this is a blush brush in paradise. And I'm just looking for a little bit of um, definition between her crease and her brow. Really, really peachy and kind of, go ahead and open. So she has a little bit of definition and a nice warm glow around her eye. Moving back and forth, not creating a really hard line. That's why we always use number 10 brush. Back and forth, buffing up onto the crease. Coming in, like, so she has a nice halo of peach around her eye. So now what we're gonna do is, we're going to apply Bionic Mascara to the upper lash line. So we're going to create that twiggy bottom right here. It's okay if a little bit of it gets in her lash line because I'm going to give her a little bit of liner. You know, that's a really great trick. Sometimes if you get mascara on your bottom lash line, great trick. Go in with number 20 brush. Go ahead and look up, Lindsay, and go ahead and just smudge it into the lash line. And guess what that does? It gives you liner. And the great thing is, is our mascara is water resistant. So those days when you're ready and you're running to work and you don't have time and you get mascara, work it out. Use your mascara's liner. So I am going to go back in with Midnight Brown Cream Liner, just to give her a little definition in the lash. Cream Liner and Midnight Brown in the lash line. Okay, so now we're going to contour her in Sun Kiss Matte. We're not doing a strong cheek again. You're going to see that a lot. We're just doing a contour with a fan brush. I'm going to start from the back. And if you see how I'm applying it to her, I always start from the back and then start buffing in circular motion. So it looks I'm going to do a little trick here. I'm going to take Halo Powder with my finger. I'm going to neutralize her lip color just a little bit because if you see that gives her that nice shine. And we take exposed gloss and just give her a beautiful shine. Nice peachy nude shine. Hey, here you go. That's a look for Eco Organic. Gorgeous.